So the knockout stage for MSI is going to start tomorrow with the first matchup, I believe, between Top Esports and TL. So today I just wanted to quickly go through my expectations and predictions for every uh, first round series and a little bit of what we can expect heading into tomorrow. So starting out real quick with TL versus Top, the big advantage here uh, for Top, outside of them just being better, is that they've already played, right? They played through the play-in, uh, they looked good, uh, were pretty contested by Fnatic, um, but Team Liquid is not nearly as good as Fnatic in my opinion. So I think Top should take this pretty easily, considering they've already had the on-stage experience, uh, they've had the, uh, they're, they're getting used to the environment in general, um, and Team Liquid's been sitting on their couches uh, watching the game which in my opinion, the extra time or the bye week kind of deal uh, is really never an advantage in my opinion. It's always better to get the experience, get comfortable in the playing environment. So I think Top Esports has an advantage in that sense. And obviously they're Top Esports, number two seed from China. Uh, they're just an insanely good roster. Jackie Love has been playing out of his mind. Uh, Cream is doing solid in the mid lane for, I think he's a rookie, right? And their their roster top to bottom is just really, really good with 369 and uh, Tian as well. So th there's no reason that top shouldn't sweep this series. I'm not expecting much from Team Liquid, honestly. Um, you know, in the LCS, they got hot at the right time and they ended up winning the split. And that's happened quite a bit recently. Um, but I think overall, if you were to point toward other LCS rosters, uh, I don't think TL is really at the top of the list. They're good without a doubt, but they just, like I said, they got hot at the right time, hit a nice hot streak, and they ended up winning the split. But here they are facing against top, and my expectation is going to be a pretty clean 3-0 for top there. Heading into the next series is Gen.G versus Fnatic. This is actually really exciting because Fnatic looked very good in the play-ins, much better than I anticipated them to look. Humanoid is playing out of his dang mind. I think the biggest gap in this series is going to be the bot lane. Fnatic's bot lane looked pretty bad, honestly, in the play-ins, and uh, compared to uh, Pays and Lehens, I think Genji is going to have quite an advantage in the bot side, so I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to expose that. I think where Fnatic has to play around to, to try to win this series is through the soul lands. Humanoid um, has been playing really, really well, and Oscar has been playing better as of late, honestly. He, he had some rough weeks there in the LEC, but he's been playing better and slowly, slowly improving here. So I think the X factors for Fnatic are going to be uh, Razor and Humanoid. Can the mid jungle win? Can they get action early, get ahead early, and can they protect their bot lane? Uh, that's really where I think is going to be the primary um, place of outclass in favor of Genji. Obviously, they have Chovy, they have Canyon, they have an insane roster. Obviously, first seed uh, LCK. They're expected to win, no doubt. But I'm just thinking in terms of how Fnatic can make this a competitive series, it's definitely going to be through the mid-jungle on their part. So with that all, all being said, I am predicting a 3-1 for Gen.G. I think Fnatic will be able to take a game off. Maybe they win a fight early. Maybe uh, Humanoid gets really ahead on, on a pick like the LeBlanc that he uh, pulled out for his top and looked really, really good on. So again, shouldn't be any surprises in this series. Gen.G should look... Uh, like the superior team and win pre pretty convincingly but i think Fnatic definitely has opportunities to make it competitive at the least so again 3-1 in favor of gen g is my prediction there uh billy billy versus psg i think everyone's just going to have a 3-0 for billy billy here there's no reason they shouldn't smash psg obviously psg looked solid in the play-ins especially toward the the later stages of that but their their competition and the teams they played against were pretty garbage um, so there's really no reason that BLG should not smash this series. Um, and I'm expecting a really clean 3-0 for BLG. Not really a whole lot to say uh, about this series. They just have a better roster top to bottom. First seed China, they're expected to win. They're expected to be a favorite to win the whole tournament, really. And uh, PSG, while they're always good as a wildcard team, uh, they're not expected to compete with probably the best, if not one of the best teams in the world in BLG. So 3-0 prediction for BLG in that one. And last but not least, by far the most exciting matchup in round one is G2 versus T1, the tried and true classic matchup uh, back from 2019 semis, uh, which was one of the most exciting MSI best of fives, one of the most exciting best of fives ever, period. Um, G2 and T1 always deliver really exciting games. So I think um, 
I'm just going to cut to the chase. Straight up, I'm thinking 3-2 for T1. I think this is going to be an extremely competitive series, and it really honestly can go either way. Um, you know, T1 did, did get the experience in the play-in. They have played on the stage in the environment before, uh, so that is helping to assimilate to them, them to the environment. Um, however, their competition in, in play-ins was trashed here. They didn't actually play against top. Uh, so T1 hasn't faced anyone of note yet. This is the f they're going to be their first test of the tournament, and G2 is very, very good. I think the X factor in this series is going to be Yike. I think the mid lane matchup is very even. Both of those guys are insane. I think the bot lane matchup is also pretty even. Um, although T1 is probably going to have the advantage in most people's eyes, but I definitely do think that Hansama and Mickey. Uh, maybe if they get their hands on a Draven or a Callista, uh, can definitely outclass T1's bot lane in the right circumstance. Um, so I do think the X Factor position is going to be the jungle. I wouldn't expect a whole lot of presence from top lane this series, although it is Zeus, so you never know there. Um, but I think it's going to come down to Yike and uh, Owner. Um, with that being said, I do expect there to be lane swaps most likely every game, as G2, I believe, is the team that started the whole lane swap thing. So in that case, it really can go either way. Um, if it's just normal league and the land matchups are normal, then the X factors, like I said, I think is going to be the jungle position and everywhere else is honestly pretty even, except for top lane, I'd give a pretty significant edge to Zeus there. Um, but I'm really looking forward to this series. It's by far the most competitive and most exciting of all the first round matchups. Again, I'm predicting a T1-3-2. But I really wouldn't be surprised if G2 won the series. They're a very strong team, and these two teams always play each other very competitively. So I'm really excited for this matchup. It's going to be super hype. Uh, and that's pretty much all I got. So running down through the uh, predictions again, I have 3-0 three, three for top, 3-1 for Gen G, 3-0 for BLG, and 3-2 for T1. This is a really exciting round one. And with the new format, we get a lot of best of fives here. So hopefully some more we can get some more competitive matches in the second round, maybe like a top Gen G, BLG T1. These are really exciting matchups. And unlike last year's MSI, they're cross-regional. Uh, if you remember to last year MSI, it was basically just regional matchups all over again uh, with pretty much every region just facing their final matchup again. So it's going to be really exciting to have some more diverse matchups this time around, cross-region matchups. And this, this knockout stage is looking to be uh, a very exciting one. So I'm looking forward to all these matchups. Again, they start tomorrow morning, the 7th. Uh, if you're on the East Coast, uh, it's going to be at 5 a.m. So make sure you tune into those. And uh, yeah, let me know your guys' predictions uh, down in the comments below. I'm curious to see what your thoughts on all these matchups are. And I will see you guys in the next one.